Hey guys, it's me Dolphinatic and welcome to my very first live Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle today. I am battling against Ronnie Rocket 99 off Twitter and let's get straight into this. I'll let you enjoy a bit of Wally's theme in the background, but hopefully this battle comes out well. I mean, this is the first I'm using the XSplit by the way, guys. So I kind of invested in a annual subscription for it. So if the sound's a bit off, I don't know if you can record it in separate soundtracks. That'd be so helpful if you could. But I think it mixes them. The, the test showed that it mixed them. So hopefully the game audio and the microphone um, sound sort of volume is just about right. So we are going into a single battle. I'm going to pick music free because it is my favourite music from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Apparently you can't use Wally's theme which really sucks. Which is why I've got it in the background now because you can play it while you are on the island. The battle resort, that's the one. You can talk to a lady and she changes it for you. Anyway, I'm battling Rowan. I asked for a mixed tier battle. He said he only has OUU. I said that's perfectly fine. Technically, it's mixed, I guess. So, I have a cut. I have a... Oh, you'll see my team in a minute. Or you won't. I'll tell you what my team is in a minute. Um, it says, please wait until preparations are complete. Please don't, like, lag out or anything game. Pokemon is notorious for lagging out like that. <laughs> Hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Uh, we, I had some issues yesterday trying to get to battle someone. Oh, come on. Has he... Has he, like, not pressed the button or something? Come on, dude. Come on, just... Game, just prepare yourself. That's all I need to know. I really need to figure out how to, like... I could have sworn, like, I could switch between the bottom screen and top screen, so, uh... Oh, here we go. Communicating, please wait. Okay, so what's he got? I have Ice Beam on Milotic for that Gliscor, that's fine. God, his team definitely is U U O U, isn't it? God damn it. Okay, this could be tough. What to start with, though? Because a Gallade... I played a Gallade yesterday, and I did kill it. If he starts off with Gallade... Um... Then that's scary. Very scary. Because, obviously, Inner Focus means it doesn't flinch. And then Low Pony can't do as much damage. But anyway, good luck. Um, Ronnie Rocket. I do love his Twitter name, by the way, so, uh... Yeah, go follow him on Twitter. I'll leave a link to it in the description. If he has a channel as well, I'll leave a link to that. I think he does. Right, anyway, let's get into this low punny lead. It's pretty obvious. Don't start with Gallade. What's going? Alright, it's Excadrill. That's perfectly fine by me. That is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go straight out for a Drain Punch, I believe. Do I? Or do I get for Focus Punch? He's going to set his rocks up or switch. So, what's he going to do? Don't attack me. Do not attack, please. Please go for Stealth Rocks. Please. He might have... I don't know. He might be expecting the fake out. I should have faked out, really, to break a sash or anything. He went for Stealth Rocks. See you later, Excadrill. Please don't be sashed. If you're sashed, then I'll cry. But then again, I can kill you. Quite easily. That's a dead, dead <laughs> Excadrill. Unprotected Focus Punch. No one expects it. No one expects it. I mean, it's only going to work once, because if you've seen this and then I battle it with my low buddy, you'll probably just expect a focus punch. Turn one. That's his spinner gone, so now I need to start setting up spikes. However, if he bring in... Okay, he doesn't know I have the ice punch, which is perfect. It probably won't kill, but it's definitely going to do a lot of damage. So uh, let's ice punch and see how much it does, shall we? Low punny is so good. Protect. Oh, he's gone for that toxic orb. I will scare him out with the Ice Punch, though, and I'm not going to over-predict. I'm just going to go for another Ice Punch. I don't see who he had, actually. I've got to take a picture of his team. God damn. Let's go for an Ice Punch again. See how well he takes it, if he can. I, I mean, it's not Stab, but he's quad weak, even if he is fully physically defensive. He's going to switch here. He used that. I suppose it was a good play. He used it as an opportunity to get Toxic Orb up, but then again, don't go into Greninja. Greninja is outsped by Mega Lopunny, unless he's Scarf. Unless he's a Scarf Greninja, then that's just a problem. I could Focus Punch, but I'm just going to Drain Punch. I'm just going to do work with Low Punny. It's fine. If he switches here, I'm going to be so mad for not clicking Focus Punch. Okay. See you later, Greninja. Look, they just underestimate the speed of Low Punny. <laughs> I swear, just underestimate the speed of Low Punny. Gallade stops Low Punny. Come on, dude. That's all you need. I don't have anything for Gallade. Well, don't actually bring in Gallade. Charizard is next. Okay. I expect this isn't his Mega. Unless he's bought Mega Zard and Gallade. Just in case he wants to choose. I'm going to save Low Pony Because it could be could be a good thing. Now, I need to know if the Zard is uh, X or Y at all. So, I'm going to go to Milotic. Milotic's a safe play. 
Right, as long as uh, as long as uh, he's he's not the sun and goes for a solar beam, then that might be an issue. What are you gonna do? You're gonna mega? Is Zard gonna mega? He's Charizard. -o Why? Okay, that that's not good at all. Poop. <laughs> um, I see what he did here. Is he gonna go for a fire move? I mean, solar beam's probably gonna take me out because I am heat wave. Okay, I am. Uh, physically defense. God, I've done too much. I've done too much. I'm physically defensive. Solar Beam is not stab, but it's going to be super effective. Heat Wave is stab. It's going to be pretty much the same damage, I believe. Isn't it? Do I recover? I'm going to recover and see how much this does. Zard Y. I mean, this is what happens when I bring lower tier stuff, I guess. I am faster with low punny, so I reckon... He withdrew Charizard. Okay, I don't know what he's expecting. Gallade. Okay, that's fine. I'll scold you. You can't mega. Uh, unless he'll go for knockoff. That's what he'll probably do. So, do I have anything that can will appreciate a knockoff? Not really. Uh, Lopunny could, but I don't want to be real, because obviously I'll just die to a Gallade. I'm just going to scold it. Psycho Cut. Okay, I don't, I don't really understand this play. I don't, that didn't do much at all. Um, hopefully I'll get the school burn. That'll make life a lot easier. Nope, okay, I didn't. But he might switch now. This thing's going to be choice. Or no, that looks like specially defensive bulk up to me. But I have got Dragon Tail, so I can just do that if he decides to bulk up. He's just going to continue psycho cutting me. I wonder if he's playing for the crit there. I was talking that up. If, he, if I didn't get a burn this turn. Oh, I got a crit. <laughs> crit for crit, okay. He must be choiced because because he's not bulking up or anything. I'm going to recover. Going to recover. Close combat. Okay, so he's not choiced. And I die. I just die straight up. Right then. Mighty Yenna. Here we go. The sweep is real with Mighty Yenna right now. Oh, the sunlight faded. Or do I low punny? Hmm. Well, Pyro's going to be faster. He's not choice scarfed. Hmm. I think a fake out and an ice punch combo from Low Punny is going to kill it, and Shadow Sneak won't do any damage. So that's fine. He can't bring in Gliscor safely at all. He just can't. Because I have ice punch. And I, I resist rocks as well, so it's not going to do much to me. I can switch as much as I like. Free fake out. He hasn't got. Oh, he might. I don't know if this thing gets in a fakus normally. If he does, I've just made a terrible play. And fake out kills it anyway. Jesus Christ, that thing's weak. He must have been... Why, if he was a bulk upset, he would have done it when Milotic was in, surely. Surely. Or maybe he just wanted to take me out before I got a burn off. Zard, okay. I have nothing for this Zard. But I need to save my... T I need to save this thing for fake out. Because priority and whatnot. Sucker punch is a thing. Pyro outspeeds... Uh, Dragalge is a very safe switch. I'm going to go into that. What's he got then? He's got Gliscor, Charizard Y, and... I can't remember what his final Pokemon was. That's uh, quite sad, really. He's gone for Heat Wave, so... Oh, he missed. He missed. That's perfect. So, what, what did he have? Zard Y, Gliscor... I'm just going to Draco Meteor, uh, as long as he doesn't have a fairy. Dragon Pulse. That's a thing. I should take it. Yeah, I do. Okay. Zard Y is going to get absolutely wrecked by this. By this Draco. And then I can fake out with Low Punny. As and when. It's just going to... Oh my god, it just took it out in one hit. Dragauchi is so powerful. And his typing gives him so many resistances. It's brilliant. I love it. Okay, but he has now got a free switch into whatever. If he wants to bring in Gudra, ah, that's his other Pokemon. Okay, so he definitely didn't want to switch that thing in. What have I got? What have I got that I could take on Trigalgy with, uh, Gudra with? Not much. I'm going to go into Chestnut and see what he wants to do. Chestnut's my most expendable member right now. Uh, there's no point in me going for Spikes. I guess I might as well Leech Seed. See what happens. I the only attack move I have on just Chestnut is um, especially offensive. Is it going to be Assault Vest or Choice in some way? Um, hmm. 
Am I going to be able to take another one? I don't... 178. How much HP did I have after rocks? I didn't see. Uh, I'm going to spiky shield. And then I can leech seed. And then I'll leave this thing in to die. I'll get some leech seed recovery off, which is not... Oh, he's got the ice beam. Okay. That's super effective. Now, his stab dragon pole is going to do more than super effective ice beam. Who knows? You might expect me to switch this turn. No, you go straight out for the ice beam. This Gujra's a problem. They're too bulky. Live, 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 live. Ah, oh, chestnut. Chestnut. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. The sunlight faded. Okay. So is Gujra faster than Dragalgy? I guess it is. Oh, I know what I have. Okay. What's his last Pokemon? Gliscor. I have hidden power rice. I'm going to attack this thing with Pyroar. I'm going to use Hyper Voice on it. And then I have Play Rough on my, um, what's it called? Ah, oh, this time where I wish I had a, time where I wish I had Ice Fang over Hi um, Fire Fang on my, uh, what's it called? Oh man, I tell you what, I think a Play Rough from, from my thingy will probably take a Pyro, oh goddamn crit. I reckon a Play Rough from Mighty Enna will take this thing out. Question is, is Mighty Enna faster? I would expect it is, because it's a dog. Right? Even then, as long as I can just get some damage off on this thing. Play rough. Do something, please. Mighty Enna, do something. Play rough. Let's go. Please. Right, I'm faster. Oh, man. Mighty Enna killing a Gudra. You don't see that every single day of the week, do you guys? You do not see that. And here comes the Moxie. Here comes the Pain Train. Oh, if only I had Ice Fang. If only I had Ice Fang, but then it's situational. If I had Ice Fang, this thing would just get screwed over by Steel types. So I'm going to go for the Crunch, see if I can get that defense drop. Or is Gliscor faster? I'm just going to Crunch. I don't know. I'm faster, okay. How much is this going to do? Crit or defense drop would be nice. That didn't even do half. That's ridiculous. Don't sub, please. Aerial Ace, okay. He's going to kill me off. That's perfectly fine. Wow, I've done nothing. Mighty Annie, you absolute beast. How? 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 Alright, let's crunch again. I'm not going to sucker punch. There's no reason for me to do it. Just keep doing it. Go for them defense drops. Oh, wow. That an over half. Well, but I'm sure it didn't do that much before. Earthquake. Oh, take me out. I don't understand how... This thing must have, like, bad IVs or something. I don't know. Maybe he just found a, a shiny Gligar and wanted to use it. Oh, well, Gliscor, your time is up, buddy. I'm afraid. If Lopini can't kill it with Ice Punch, then it's game over. I mean, this is a really close game anyway, dude. Good game, Rocket Ronnie, because Dragalge is really low on HP, so, uh, Ice Punch, one. Oh, Protect, oh, God. He probably done that just in case I went for Fake Out. There's no point in me going for Fake Out. Oh, come on, dude, you can't live in Ice Punch. I'm sorry, you will not live in Ice Punch from half health. No matter how defensively bulky you are, you're four times weak. He's going to go for the double protect. No, he's not. Ice Punch hits. And... It's a kill for Lopunny. Okay, Lopunny just put in work this whole battle. Good game, Rocket Ronnie. I really enjoyed that battle. It was a lot of fun. And you played some good plays that game. And it was very close. Dragalge was near death. And Lopunny was at about 60% health. So thank you for that battle, dude. If you guys enjoyed this little video of mine. I mean, it was really nice. It's a really good battle, I think, to... Uh, get off as my first live battle. Um, if you guys did like this video, leave a like, it'd be muchly appreciated. I don't even know if that's a correct grammar, but who cares? I uploaded a video for once of a Wi-Fi battle. It makes a nice change. Um, subscribe if you aren't already, guys, and I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.